What's up, Taurus? How are you all doing? Happy Saturday. I hope everybody's having a great day, um, no matter what your plans are or your responsibilities are. This is going to be your full moon reading, so that there's a full moon on the 28th, along with a lunar eclipse in your house. Um, so I am going to tell you how it's about to affect your energy. You know, Taurus, to take what resonates. It's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. But there will be things that do resonate. And make sure you're watching your moon sign reading. Also, because of the eclipse energy, there's definitely going to be messages for you that link up with the messages here. So your moon, your rising, and your Venus always make it like a complete whole with your sun sign reading. Always will be additional clarity within those readings. So make sure you're getting those in. Um, I'm giving away three free personal readings this month. I need you to just be a subscriber and leave a pumpkin emoji in the comment section for the remainder of the month, the readings that you watch of mine. At the end of the month, like I do each and every month, I'll randomly choose those people and remind you to be checking your notifications for those that participate. Three people will be hearing back from me. All right, Taurus, let's get into your reading. This is how the lunar eclipse is going to affect your energy. You're the main character during this month's lunar eclipse, Taurus, and it does unfold in your first house of express of self-expression on the 28th. Your own needs and desires will be placed front and center. If you've been overly consumed with the relationships you're a part of, this full moon serves as an opportunity to reconsider what you need in order to feel the most satisfied. How are you making sure that you're finding pleasure in life autonomously? While connections with others are important, you'll want to make sure you're not over-relying on other people to make yourself feel happy. It's like I say in each and, you know, most of my readings, you're responsible for your own happiness. You cannot rely on anyone, whether it be a husband, a wife, you know, your BFF. You cannot rely on anyone else for your happiness. You just can't. All right, for my Taurus's spirit, this full moon, lunar eclipse energy. What messages do you have for my Tauruses? All right, all right. The one that didn't flip over was be bold and make the first move. What are you making the first move on during this energy? Mind you, we just came out of a we're. Actually not, we didn't just come out of, we're still within that solar eclipse energy that happened in the beginning of the month. What is this that you're making a big, bold move on? We also have take time to breathe. Reminds me of like the hermit energy, the, the four of swords energy. Not reacting immediately, you know, taking that deep breath. Looking at things from different perspective, like from a different angle before you respond or make a decision. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. I feel you're looking at something with your third eye being awakened. You know, like I said, seeing things from a different perspective and allowing that tranquility in your life that peace and that tranquility. You may be putting yourself out there in terms of love. You see, it's almost like an amethyst and then a rose quartz energy, you know, making the skies color. Might be in terms of love. Let's see what else we can get you, Taurus. When I say love, I mean romance. Sewer Mermaid, 25. Your sensuality is beautiful. When you feel like you're not enough for someone or something, certain situation, maybe a job, um, you, you feel like you don't have it within you to go back to school. The path that you're on, you're exactly, you have exactly what you need 
to manifest exactly what your, whole de your soul desires. For those of you that look down on yourself and don't think you're enough to put yourself out there to date or to find love or you don't look your best or, you know, when I was 20, I was a size zero and now that I'm in my 40s, now I'm a size 12. You know, it doesn't matter. The person you're meant to be with, they're going to find you completely beautiful inside and out. You're exactly who you are in this very moment and exactly where you're meant to be. Lantern Fairy. I feel coming out of hermit mode. You know, doing a lot of soul searching, Taurus. You're following that lantern. You might be moving a little bit slow because of the test of faith that you've experienced. But spirit is guiding you all along the way. And Marie Masquerade. I do. I feel someone is taking their mask off. For some of you, it's like you're taking your mask off and seeing things from a different perspective. Light is shining down on your path and bringing you some kind of clarity. And it's going to be different what that clarity is and what your situation is. Let's say, your current situation, Six of Cups. What are you thinking about from the past that has been holding you back? Remember, don't let your past hold you back. South node energy. What is this from the past that's hold, holding you back? Could be a water sign. Could be a fire sign. But I really, ha I feel like what you're thinking about of the past que made you question yourself. Made you question like what you brought to the table. Did you show up in your best energy? Put doubt within you. But I feel like there's multiple opportunities opening up for you with this um, full moon energy. I feel like you're definitely being noticed. I do. I feel someone is taking their mask off and coming towards you. And I felt it as soon as I put it down. Yeah, I feel someone's coming towards you to, and making a decision. I really feel that they want to move forward with you. We have earth energy here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Fire energy, Gemini. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. We have water energy also. We don't have fire at, or air as of yet. So take what resonates within your chart and who this may be that's coming towards you. I got to tell you, I don't feel you expect it because here you are, Taurus. Masculine or feminine, it's like you're looking the other way. You're focused on your finances, your stability. Your focus is elsewhere. And they're coming towards you. I feel that you've made a decision to do the best you can to leave the past in the past and move forward. I just feel someone shows up on your path though. Let's see. Yeah, the Eight of Wands just popped out. And now there's the Six of Swords. I do feel you're at a distance from someone. They may be a physical distance from you. There might be some traveling that they need to do to be in your, to be, you know, to come towards you, to be in your energy. Six of Pentacles. 
Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person held back. It wasn't an equal give and take. They could have been very possessive, very controlling, but they hold they held back from you. But there is definitely an opportunity. I feel like this person was a temptation for you. You did your best to stay focused on other things, you know, to stay grounded in the energy that you are because you're an earth sign. And this person, just their energy being around you was very tempting. I feel you had very good times with this person, but it is possible that they kept their options open. It's like they let their pride and ego get in the way and they're returning. They are. They're returning. Spirit wants you to continue on with your life and not focus on when will they return. You know, when will that be the moment? I'm manifesting. I'm doing everything I can. I'm connected to my spirit guides. I'm meditating at night. I'm doing everything Lotus Sutra says, but they're just not returning. Why is that? Because you're not completely walking away from it. You know, it's like standing at a stove waiting for a pot of water to get ready to boil. It doesn't boil very quickly, does it? No, you feel like you're never going to get back. Those 20 to 25 minutes that it takes to heat up, to start to boil, it's a process. It's going to be returned to you if it's meant to be in your life. And when you least expect it, because you're out doing your own life and finding your own happiness. But there is someone returning. It was a hard ending for both of you. You feel like, you know, Taurus, like, did they just move on? Do they really not think about me? That's not true. They think about you just as much. And it is going to be a tower moment when they return to you. As soon as I saw that mask in her hand, not up to her eyes, someone wants to make it right. Why is the Six of Wands here twice, Spirit? Yeah, I really feel like this person went cold. They put themselves first. Their pride and ego got in the way. You know, you may know their past and know that they've been through hard things. And it was hard for them to completely open up. But I do feel it's something you desire. It is a wish fulfillment for you. And I, I do feel you're going to take a leap of faith towards it. When you're doubting if you were enough for this person, absolutely you are. The, that doubt lies within that person. It doesn't lie within you. You should never second guess what you were bringing to the table because you are completely enough. It's their fault for not realizing that. All right, spirit. We have Pisces energy, and it is the moon energy that is coming. So we have within six to nine months during the winter. I feel a lot of your growth is going to be within this winter season. For those of you still healing and going through that. You could be dealing with a, pipe, with a water sign. Yeah, this person is traveling towards you. Like I said, they may be moving as slow as you are with that Virgo energy, with the lantern here. But baby steps, nothing needs to be overnight. You may want this person to return as of like yesterday, but I hate to say too bad, but we can't control our lot, each and every aspect of our life. And we can't control the motives and the intentions of other people. So all you can do, Taurus, is move forward within this full moon lunar eclipse energy. Embrace it. See how the worth within yourself and how amazing you are. Because I really feel within the process of you healing and moving forward, this person is slowly on their journey creeping up on you and you're not going to expect it when they return. It may take some time. 
but they're overcoming their fears and their anxieties. And the moon energy, I'm telling you, for some of you, it is definitely going to be around this full moon energy. I felt this person that you're dealing with felt trapped within their own skin and they had to focus on themselves. Not that they their intentions were to hurt you, but they just they had some healing that they needed to be that they, they needed to enforce. A person that you can trust, love, and have faith in, a strong bond. Sometimes the best relationships start out as a friendship. So if they return to your life wanting to talk things out, take it very slow. Maybe even a friendship level. Go with it if that's what you want. This is all about what you want, Taurus. Putting yourself first. And spirit is protecting you. God is protecting you. Remember, rejection is protection. It's a way to redirect you towards where you're meant to be, what you're meant to receive in that moment. But there is love coming your way. And yeah, Spirit wants you to completely trust in the process. Allow yourself to heal. Take that deep breath. See things from a different perspective. Allow that tranquility in your life and move forward. And trust in divine timing. There is love coming your way. All right, Taurus. Let's get Scrabble Tiles. S E N Y L A M O R B T and the rest are repeats. Don't be surprised if you're out and about and this person shows up on your path because that's truly what I'm feeling. All right, so much love and light, Taurus. Leave that pumpkin emoji down below and go ahead and subscribe. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. I offer a variety of personal readings. A lot of people have been asking me when it's going to reopen. It is reopen and it is stocked um, for now. So, you know, take advantage of it if you're looking for that. So much love and light. Continue to have a great day.